Hey, it's Johnny Groove from wildmantraining.com. Yeah, I just got done a workout. I'm gonna talk real quick about some of the things I hear. If you just pay attention out there in society, you'll real quickly find out where we're going as a, as a society and just watch people the way they live their lives. You know, I often like to talk to these white liberals, how, especially these men who have no idea what masculinity is, have no, have no idea what a man is. Um, I'm pretty sure their dad gets their ass kicked by their mother or whatever, and there's no doubt. But one thing I ask these, one of the questions I like to ask is about George Floyd. I often say, hey, would you know George Floyd's name if he would have been white? And I don't get an answer. And I said, would you have known George Floyd's name if he would have been killed by another black man? No. I said, without Google, can you tell me one little innocent black child that was shot in crossfire in one of these cities and it was given a horse-drawn carriage uh, funeral? No, they can't come up with that either. See, virtue signaling. These people were frauds. And they have to go along with something. So this is what they do. They think they will go along with everybody and that way they'll be liked. It's just like the, the rape, the cultural rape campus on colleges and things like that. I often tell these people, these liberal women, it's like, if you think about it, strong men don't usually rape women. No, it's usually people that would vote Democrat or your friends, the people that, the men that you hang out with who can't get laid but will wait for you to pass out drunk and then get their cheap feel. So remember, if, you're, if you've been molested in college campuses or had, you know, had any issues, I can almost guarantee that they were somebody you were spending time with that, who votes and thinks the same way you do. And it's usually a weak, emasculated man who can't get a date, who you think were labeled as a friend. Anyhow, the other day I heard a quick uh, conversation about people voting for Joe Biden because he said he was going to forgive student debt. My question is, who was raising these kids and what kind of man raised a son to look to other people to take care of their bills? See, if you're 18 years old and you're allowed to sign these papers and you can move out on your own, hey, that's your debt, okay? If you can't pay it, then maybe your stupid mom and dad who signed the papers or helped you Maybe they should pay the debt. Why should taxpayers, somebody who didn't go to college, who do okay on their own, why should they have to pay for people who went to school, got a bullshit degree, and now can't afford it? But supposedly, going to college, you are going to be able to earn more than people that didn't go to college. But yet, you want college paid for by people who didn't go to college. See, men, real men, they take, care of, they take care of the responsibilities and they're held accountable. And that's one thing we don't have today. And I don't care if the fucking guy's 18 years old or 50 years old. It seems that everybody out here is a victim. Everybody's a victim either whether they got divorced and their wife took all their shit or they go to college and now they can't afford it. Matter of fact, it's so bad that the government's enacting a $15 hour minimum wage to give these college kids an opportunity to get a job with a gender studies degree or some other stupid bullshit woman studies degree so they can feel valuable in today's society. Yet they have no skills and they have no value to the marketplace. People don't, people don't identify with me is because I'm a 53 year old blue collar worker who's actually taken responsibility, who's raised four kids, who has eight grandkids, a ninth one on the way, I still train, and I'm just not a bullshit type of guy. You know, people don't, people don't like that. People don't like it. Well, people like me like it. The problem is most people out there are just fucking plain old soft. And I gave these videos, I do these videos for no, no other reason to get things off my chest. And just something to do. As far as people subscribing, I could give fuck less. You could go off and every single person could unsubscribe and I'm still gonna post. Like my workout videos. I post my workout videos because I wanna show other people, other men, that you don't need a gym. You can stay strong, functionally strong, and still be able to do the things you need to do in the older age. Hey, I did that bench press and shit and that heavy squats and I can tell you right now, man. I mean, I'm not, I'm not sorry I did it, but I'll tell you what. I'd have done it a lot differently, man, if I had it over, to do it over. A lot of things, man, I didn't do right, and a lot of things were wrong, but 
anyhow that's just a uh little video as i'm doing my cool down here i'll talk to you